Perfect win. Right, hello everyone and welcome to this new video on the channel. So today is Sunday the 21st of April 2024 and today we have got both games number 95 and 96 of the 23-24 season on the channel as we're heading to the home of Rosenton, Maine, which is Oxford Street as we've got the Sheffield and Hallamshire Sunday Cup and Trophy matches. So first off we've got the Trophy match between Boynton Sports versus AFC Pogmore. And then after that, it is the cup between Scorthorpe Athletic versus Westville. So in this video, we've got my thoughts pre and post match before both games and then the match day vlog from each. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So because there are two match day vlogs on this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put chapters for each on them. So if you only want to watch one of the matches, feel free to use the chapters to find the video that you want. Uh, but we are going to start with the trophy and then move on to the cup. So the trophy will be the first match and the cup will be the second match. So just use the chapters below to navigate to whichever video you want. Okay, so we'll start off with the trophy match then. So we've got Boynton Sports versus AFC Pogmore. So starting off with Boynton then, so they are based in Sheffield. And they currently play in the Blades Super Draw Sunday League Division 1. Currently top of the table. And they actually were runners-up of this cup two seasons ago. So hopefully they are looking to go one better this time. And as for AFC Pogmore, they're based in Barnsley and they play in the Barnsley and District League Division 1, where they are also top of the table. And it is the first time they have put a team in this season. Um, they've been formed for a while, but it's the first season uh, being a member of this division after they formed a team in pre-season. So both these teams have had to play six games to get to the final, uh, with Boynton having an away game at WH Crooks, where they drew two all and then won by five goals to four on penalties, whereas AFC Pogmore had a walkover in the semi-final. So I think that brings me nicely on to my prediction for today then. So which team are going to win the final? My prediction is, like I say, I don't know a lot about both teams, but I'm going to go with Boynton here. I'm going to go with Boynton Sports 3, AFC Pogmore 1. Anyway, that's enough from me. Let's get into the first match of the day. So let's head on over to Oxford Street and see how the game goes. Great, I've arrived. Uh, I'm a bit late, so I've probably missed about the first 10 minutes one time actually in, but oh well, because I was basically editing last night's video, which um, I was to get up as soon as possible, just we are <laughs> incredible what yesterday was, but I see a coach just there in the background, so it's going to be interesting to see how many it's here today. Really looking forward to this. Um, so anyway, let's make our way into Oxford Street and see how today goes. Right, we've made it in, so missed the first 15 minutes, but I've just been told that uh, Boynton Sports are 1-0 up through a penalty figure on the 8th minute, so we have missed that unfortunately, but we'll be able to catch the rest of the game, so currently 1-0 to Boynton. Ooh. Oh, where did it go? Oh, 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 bloody hell. Makes it two. No, I don't have caught that cleanly or not, but hopefully I did. Oh, save. Oh, double save. Jeez. Half time, 2 nil.
best thing about Northern League is definitely the dogs, and I think this is the cutest one so far. Oh! Oh dear, 2-1. Comebacks on. I forgot to say as well, at the end of half, I didn't really see a way back into it. I only saw it going one way, but looks like that might not be the case. Oh, jeez. Nice. Save. Oh, again. Keeps that right, game. Second double save at game. Attack like that, I thought. About the last one, were Surely a foul then. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Good effort. Ooh. Oh, save again. So she should secure it now as well. Really nice of her. Oh, that's got to be. That's down wall. Double turn as well. This for four one. Oh, what's out? Good follow up, to be fair. Four one. Game over. Okay, so now that the trophy match has been done, I'll give my full-time review at the end of the cup match. So I'll do one for both. So anyway, let's move on to the cup match then. So we've got Scorthorpe Athletic versus Westville. So starting with Scorthorpe, and they are based here in Doncaster, and they're playing the Doncaster Rovers Sunday League Premier Division. Um, so they're currently top of the league and looking very likely to win that league as well. And they have got a very good history in this cup they've been to four of the last five finals and they are back-to-back -back winners of this trophy so they're looking to make it three years on the bounce 
Uh, and as for Westville, they are based in Mexborough and they play in the Mexborough and District Sunday League, where they are currently top of the table. And they also have a very good history in this cup as well, as in 2016 they were winners, and I believe they got to the semi final last year as well. So in this cup, just like the um, trophy, both teams had to get through six rounds to get to this stage. Both teams did receive a bye in the first round and then score for got a walkover against their opponents in the second round. And in the semi-finals, uh, Scorthorpe had an away game at Eckington BFC, which they won by two goals to one. Whereas Westville needed penalties to be AFC Pewterpot after a two-all draw, they won by five goals to four on penalties. So I think that brings me nicely on to my prediction then. So which team are going to win the cup? My prediction is... I'm going to go Scorthorpe here. I think we're going to make it three in a row. They are kind of a dominant team around this area and i think we're going to continue that today so i'm going to go score four athletic three westville one anyway that is it for my pre-match thoughts then so like i say i i tried to research kind of the difference between the trophy and the cup and like what the levels were and stuff like that but i couldn't really find anything anywhere so the cup is a higher level i think the cup is for the teams in the high divisions and the trophy is for the teams in the lower divisions but there's no like kind of i couldn't find any criteria which um said like whether it was just prem teams in the cup and or the rest in trophy or what the difference is so i'm not too sure but i know the cup is for you know the higher ranked teams than the trophies um but i'm not sure on like what the criteria is for that so anyway let's get into the game then let's head on back to oxford street and see how the cup went Um, run away. Half time at one nil to Scott up. Safe. And Rosso's women's team just arrived after winning their cup final against Chesterfield. Yeah. 
What a free kick. Wow. Pretty quiet second half of that's about is needed some of that. is this. Let's go. Go for it. Yeah, we're going for a win. Nice. Let's go for a win.
Okay, so I've just got back home from a great day of football at Rosington, Maine. So I think the best place to start off is with the trophy, which finished Bunton Sports 4, FC Pogmore 1. And um, when I got there, I missed the first goal because um, I got in about 15 minutes late. Um, so apparently it was a penalty. And then um, they scored the second goal in the second half. And I thought that had kind of killed the game. I thought... You know, it was, it was a very one-sided first half and I didn't see a way yet back in here for Pogmore. But to be fair, Pog, Pogmore came out absolutely firing in the second half and we got a very, very early goal to put it 2-1. And they had the chances and they easily could have made it um, level. But then, like I say, um, uh, Boyton got a third and then a fourth. And um, yeah, after that third, they kind of just ran away with the game. It were... Really good game though, really entertaining game. Um, and to be honest, a lot more entertaining than the second game between uh, Scorthorpe and Westville. Um, but that did come alive in the last five minutes or so. Um, but to be fair, I thought Westville played really well. I thought, um, you know, they stuck in there, they dug in, uh, they were big underdogs. But you want to guess that, but very, very, you know, level teams. And that kind of cancelled each other out and there weren't a lot of chances Either way, but it was Scorthorpe who took the lead in the first half. And then a lull of free kick uh, about five or so minutes from the end uh, put Westville level. And they could have won it with a few chances as well. Keeper made a few great saves and had a great game as well. And that um, rolled into the penalty shootout where he made two saves. And Scorthorpe went on to win by four goals to one. And um, yeah, an enjoyable day. A lovely web for it as well. Um, I mean... It's a good problem to have when, you know, you've got the sun in your eyes most of the time while you're filming, but, you know, it's better than rain in your eyes, to be fair. And, yeah, good day of football. Like, Rosenthal Main really did run that well. Um, so, like I say, thank you to Rosenthal for, for putting on a great event. And, obviously, for Sheffield and Hallamshire uh, FA, who actually ran the event uh, at Rosso. So, yeah, a good day overall. And uh, look forward to getting this edited and out. So... I am going to leave the video here anyway, so thank you very much for watching. If you're new around here, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, whether you are an old or new viewer. So the next match is going to be on the Tuesday, and we're actually going to be back at Oxford Street, as we've got Rosenton Main versus Emily in the semi-final of the NCL Cup. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.